Well, good day, farmers. Welcome back to Farm Sim Saturday. And today we're going to do this field. Oh, did I even go the right way? It's over here. Whoops. We're going to do this field. Um, get the combine going on her and uh, get her taken off. This is the wheat we grew last week. We just ran out of time last week. So, you know what? I might as well just do this. <laughs> All right. Unfold it. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get her going here and, uh, we're just going to do this today, I think, and then uh, we're going to start into the old family farm again. Maybe for next week. Because um, I think it's a it's a pretty good map, but uh, this one, uh, I don't know, I just couldn't get the feel of it. It might grow on me, but uh, I like, you know, playing, uh, playing a map that I know a little bit more than one that I gotta all get used to again. I'm getting old, you know, and uh, it's hard for me to, you know, get things all figured out again where everything is, and I know it's just an excuse for getting old, but yeah, I'm honestly getting old, so it's finding it's getting harder for me to get everything all figured out again, you know, so uh, I'll just play maps we, we, we know. All right. One row is done. Fourteen percent from one row, that's not too bad. I don't think I've ever used a case combine like this before kind of interesting. I usually kind of stick with the John Deere sort of stuff most times, you know. Well, you know, I should really be trying other stuff. Seems to work pretty good. Let's leave a nice straw swath. Let's uh, put the spreader on now. Oh yeah, it's hitting underneath, I see. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Let him take over for a moment. That's kind of neat how that's working like that. Just turn the shoot down. Let's grab the truck here. Want to keep it uh, cleared out that uh, thing so we can keep going. And once we get the field cleared off here, we'll uh, we'll head into the town there and see if we can get this thing to maneuver through all that. It might be kind of tight, but uh, oh boy.
That is a really, really long spout. <laughs> Holy! I just noticed that. I wondered why I had to get so far away. Like, yeah, look at the length of that thing. Holy cow. That is amazing how far <laughs> that is for... I mean, it's not a tiny machine, but it's... Well, it is a tiny. It's not that, not that big of a machine, but... Maybe that's why, because maybe the machines normally come out a bit further, right? That's what's making them look a little funny. Seems like it works. Ooh. Until I do that. So I was going to say, seems like it works good, though. Man, if I could just run it, that'd be perfect. Want to look around inside a little bit. Wow, yeah, she's uh, pretty darn nice in here. You got the spare seat for the kid to come with you. Radio and air conditioning up there. That's not too bad at all. Not a massive header on it, but oh man, I did it again. It's not a massive header, it's not huge on this one, but uh, seems to work pretty good though. What is this, a case 9240? Huh. Oh, it's alright. Not too bad at all. Missing some. It's all right. It's all right. So next week, I was thinking of starting up Old Family Farm again, but I also got something kind of ignited, I'll say, in the back of my head about maybe potentially starting up some old FS13 for a run or two on the old map on that one. If it'll still work, it should. And now, mind you, I don't have it installed. <laughs> I have to do all that and uh, make sure it's going to run. But just to give us a little bit of a... Uh, what do you want to call it? A, a re reunion, maybe. That's a good one. A reunion for, uh, for that map, uh, the original map. And uh, reunion with some of the old equipment and stuff, the old little little old tractors. I kind of miss that little wee subcompact little red tractor that was in that. Gosh, that thing, it was good. It worked good. And I do kind of miss that layout of that farm. And uh, it was actually kind of converted into that big Tony's map, if you remember. And it wasn't too bad. But um, I kind of miss the old FS... 13 days and uh, I can pretty much tell you the graphics aren't going to look as good as this, that's for sure. They're, uh, you know, they're good for their time, but uh, boy, oh boy. They're definitely not like they used to be, if the game will even run still. I'm not too sure if it'll like Windows 10. Oh, uh, boy, I can't remember what Windows I was running that on before now. Was it, um... Ooh. 
Windows 7, maybe. Boy, was it even Windows 7? I, wow. I can't even remember now. Windows... It wouldn't have been Windows Millennium Edition. It would have been a lot newer than that, I think. But I, I don't remember now what it was I ran <laughs> it on. So we will maybe give that a fire up to... You guys tell me in the in the comments what you'd kind of like to see if you want to see some old family farm on this FS19. Or do you want to see some of the old FS13 from going way back? We'll have a bit of a farm sim reunion. That'd be kind of a cool thing, I think. Okay, I'm going to get that guy going. Get this guy down there and going. I think I've even got Farm Sim 11, although I never really publicly released videos on that. I got into it when it was 13, but I think I went and bought 11 anyways. And really, I don't... Whoa, bud. Where are you going? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, but that's just not going to work. Uh, yeah, FS11. Boy, what are you doing? Wow, I don't know where he thinks he's going, but we got him dumping here anyway, so that's good. Whoa, jeez. Now, I know something they need to add when this grain is coming out like this. They need to add dust. I've seen some dumping greens like that. Oh man, the dust that was pouring out was insane. Like enough you probably didn't want to go outside while it was dumping. Well, I must say, this is definitely a bit different turn. Oh, he's messing up. I'm going to take over here. So we got a bit of field left to do. It's going to take us a wee bit. This isn't a very big header on here, and we kind of tackled the the bigger field, we'll say. It's a pretty cool map, really. But uh, I don't know what it is about it. I just I'm not crazy on it. I think because I want to just to zoom out here a little bit, a little quieter. I think because I want to get into something and do a little bit of smaller farming with smaller stuff, smaller tractors for this time around. Um, done a quite a bit of the big stuff the last little while. We haven't done any smaller scale farming. More. More kind of realistic farming, I'm going to call it. So I think that'd be kind of cool to do a little more realistic farming. So Old Family Farm or that FS13. Uh, I'm trying to think of that map. You know what? Maybe for today, when we're all done this, I'll go get that game installed. And we'll try it out and see if it's going to run. And uh, hopefully it's all right. But then I'll let you guys decide if you want to see some FS13 just for reuni reunition. Is that a word? <laughs> Reuniting. Or we'll just go into maybe um, Old Family Farm. Now I did at one point have an 
old family farm, I believe, for FS13. Now, I don't have... I'm pretty sure I don't have any of those old mods that we used to use saved for FS13. I know I've got some 15, FS15, and of course 19. Uh, 13, I would have to look at my hard drive where I save stuff, but I kind of doubt it. But uh, I don't even remember what mods we had now for that game. There's probably a few of them. But uh, we'll just maybe try that. If, if you guys wanted to, we'll just try it with the uh, in-game stuff. It's all there pretty good. God, we need to look at the old menus. and <laughs> It's been such a long time. It has been a lot of years since we loaded that game up. I've definitely not had it on this new computer here yet, so it might be uh, kind of interesting. See how it runs it. I really kind of wish I kept better track of the mods and the maps that we use, because technically we could still use them, right? In, in whatever specific game, but I'm like, ah, we're not going to play that anymore. I'll just dump those. <laughs> I think a lot of them I did get rid of, but I, I just... I can't remember 100% now if I still have them or not, so... I will check that too, though. Pretty sure I've got some FS15 stuff, but uh, 13, I, I kind of doubt it. So we're uh, combining a little bit of weeds in here, too. There is some weeds in here, unfortunately. I uh, didn't get them sprayed, but uh, I can see the green weeds, but, uh, oh, we're going to have to dump. We might be able to make it around once more. She is getting smaller, so we might make her. Maybe. Seventy-eight. Yeah, we should make it around again. I think. Oh, seventy-nine. Well, we might not make her around again. We're eighty-one, eighty-two. She's building up pretty quick. We should get this road done, and maybe the headland row there too. But, hmm. Good question. Well, there's 89. That's just about as good as 90. There's 90. About 95, maybe, by the time we're done here. Oh, it's going to make her tight. So I'm going to set that guy out. We'll grab the truck. Hit her up. That's a pretty good truck, too. I like this one. This trailer's good, too. Works nice. Now let's see what he does this time. Does he get all weird and stuff, or does he just turn around like normal? Holy jumping! Don't put the spout away, you crazy. Put me that spout back out. Boy, it's hard to judge where I gotta be here. There we go.
Yeah, they definitely got to have some dust coming off of that stream of wheat coming out there, because like, sort of like behind here, how dusty that is, it's definitely that dusty with coming out here. You wouldn't think so, but it is apparently. You get some dust going. Getting the work down here. We still got a fair bit left, though. Give me a lot less animations too, as in um, the grain getting sucked in like that. There's boy, I don't even really remember now. FS13, it's been so long. It's been a long time. It actually, I think, tell me on my Steam page last time we played that game. So yeah, last time played it might give me a date. That's a pretty good little setup on that farm. It's just so tight. I don't know. I'm not crazy on bigger equipment, kind of like this, in tight spots. Maybe that's maybe that's what I'm not sort of fancying too much. We'll say is the inside of the farm where you got to maneuver things around and move around. It's kind of tight. It's not terrible. I've seen maps that are like a way lot worse, like a way lot worse, like terrible tight. Some of the old uh, English maps, or whatever you want to call them, with the roads that go all over the place too. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to drive like a truck with a trailer. You'd never get this one that we're running today down there. You'd never get that through <laughs> some of those old roads. Definitely for a small tractor and little cart wagons or something, you know. So, but, uh, yeah. I haven't generally played a whole lot of those real small tight maps. The old family farms not bad. It's opener-ish, but some of it's kind of tightish too. But it's mostly not bad. You could get stuff maneuvered around that map pretty good. And old family farm, they have those two farms too. The one you start in, and then there's that sheep farm area. You have to plow all the fields open, I think, there though to be able to use them. So I don't know whether we would start on that. But you guys uh, let me know in the comments what you would like to see. We're getting her whittled down one row at a time. Not too bad.
There we go. What are we at now? 76. We probably should dump out when we get down there again, I think. Maybe a bad idea, but we're definitely getting narrower. Narrower. Dump out when we get down here. We'll be uh, well into the 90s there, I think. And then uh, we might need one more. Well, we will, but we might get one more full hopper from what's left here. I would think so, anyways. 92, 93, 94. Oh, can we squeeze her out? I think we should be able to. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, oh, ninety-nine, and oh, look at that! Lucky there, that's good. All right, we'll back up and shut that off a moment. Man, that is. I don't think we really need this extension piece on here. Really. We gotta be getting close to a full truck here too, actually. Ooh, yeah. Oh, we might... Well, I don't think we're going to get her all in. Don't think we're going to get her all in there, but... We might have to take a run down to dump that trailer out. Now, we we got to figure out where to take it to. So while we turn this corner... I'll get Harold to run that for a minute. Let's have a look and see our wheat. Well, it's still more at the warehouse, even though it's going down. So the warehouse. It's in there somewhere. Sawmill. Animal dealer and the warehouse are like all in one there. So, okay. Well, it's all in town there, so... I don't think it's really going to matter where we really take it, because we're only going to play this map today. So, yeah, just not, uh, I don't know, not liking it. Something's, something about it. I don't know. Maybe it's not scenic enough. Like, that's too uniform. Like, break the trees up. Like, this looks better over at the farm there, but then they just put all these same trees in. And, like, look at that over there. They're all the same. Like, come on. Put a bit of variety into her there, bud. Variety is good. But uh, we just keep looking like this and we won't have to worry about trees. How about that? No, I can't do that. <laughs> Alright, we're getting to the end of her. Three or four more swipes left there. And uh, let's let him go. So we're at 86. Well, he didn't keep going, so we'll just keep driving her here ourselves. 87. Well, we'll get a full trailer anyways, and then take that in. I don't know whether I'll take whatever's left in the combat in, because I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna probably delete this one after. Get rid of this map. I, I don't know. I'm not crazy on it. So. I guess I'm very particular and fussy when it comes to 
what maps I want to do and want to play. It's got to have a good flow to it. Everything's got to be nice, easily accessible. You know, all where we're going to dump the stuff. And I don't want to be driving like three hours one way to dump stuff, right? more swipes. This one, two, yeah, three anyways. I don't know if we're going to have to dump again here. We'll get her all in this this time, but we'll see what happens here. So we need to decide, too, how we're going to... Uh, start old family farm when we started if we want to start with a bit of money to start and no land or no equipment or start with a bit of land a bit of equipment we'll have to figure that part out too whenever we uh, get to her but I kind of like having to buy my own equipment that's that's kind of one pet peeve I've kind of always had sort of kind of we'll say is you start a map and they've already got a bunch of equipment for you there and it's like maybe I don't want this stuff yeah I could sell it sure but I'd rather have the money <laughs> I have to get rid of all your old equipment because you know like this is where you use this stuff yes we did and it works fine but sometimes some of the maps are like I don't want this junk <laughs> what is this junk get rid of this junk but uh this map seemed to have pretty good equipment selected already. But then I like starting from scratch and start from scratch, if you know what I mean. You know, and that's not choosing, you know, to use all the stuff that they give you already. I like to kind of buy my own equipment up and then uh, it feels more homey, maybe I'll say. More homey, is that a word? Homey. Well, we're right bang on there. I think, though, we're going to be in trouble here. It's going to be a little bit wider up here. So, try to gather it all here. Might uh, have a problem here, yeah. Oh, well, we're still getting her. We're glitching her, but we're get getting her. And there we go, we got the whole field harvested, except one little tuft over there, but that's alright, you can stay there. That's pretty good. Boom! That almost worked out perfect, didn't it? Alright, we'll get that out, and it's definitely going to be more than that trailer can hold at least. Oh yeah, we missed a bit there too, my bad. We did, we did. don't think we're going to have enough room in this trailer for all of this. No, definitely not. Although... No, we're not. Alright, well, we got a little bit left in that combine, but that's not too bad. We got a full trailer here. We'll head her into town and see how hard it is going to be to... Uh, maneuver ourselves to the warehouse I guess we'll go to and uh, then we'll call her a day for this game and I'm going to see if I can load up FS13 again I have to get that reinstalled probably won't take long it's probably not a very big game uh, I can't remember the size of it now but uh, I'm coming out to pass there bud because you're too slow Going so fast, it sounds like a jet engine. Okay, the warehouse should be, should be, should be. Well, I think I probably should have turned there. 
Where have I? Pretty sure there's a sign. Old Plains Warehousing. There we go. Well, that's not too bad to get into, actually. Here. Be a little tight. I'm going to try to back her in here. There's nobody coming behind me. No, we're good. The curbs just are way too high here, though. That's another issue. Holy cow, we can't even get it up over the curb. Well, I kind of oversteered that one, but... There we go, we're making some green, that's not bad. Five thousand three hundred eighty-two dollars. That's pretty good. All right. Well, just to say we did, we'll head her back to the farm. Uh, that last little bit in the combine, I, I wouldn't normally take that in. I'm not going to do that today, though. I will head out and try to load up FS13 just for fun to see if it'll still run. I don't remember now what uh, the maximum resolution is I could run that game to. It's probably not as good as this one. 4K res. But, there we go. Well, maybe, you know, just to say we did, I will unload this and just put the cover on. A little bit left in there. Might get it to 10%. Oh, 8%. Alright, whoop. There we go. We'll just put this back in the yard here for now, too, I guess. What's the best way to get into the yard from here? Around. All the way around, I guess. Can't sneak through there. Oh, I could almost get through there. You know what? We'll put this in our silo. Then we know it's being stored. Alright, there we go. Okay, well, we'll load up FS-13. Hopefully and see, and then we'll do a quick little something in the game to see if it's going to be alright. So, hopefully if all goes well, we'll see you over there. If it doesn't go all well, we'll see you next week. So, I'll thank you again now for watching, maybe, just in case that doesn't happen to work over there when we get there. And uh, we'll catch you next week. All right, let's see if this works. Wow, this has been a while. Really loud, I think, for some reason. Hang instead. That music should go away. There we go. Seems to work. I had to put my resolution actually up to uh, full 4K, believe it or not. It seemed to work to get it full screen. It didn't seem to want to go full screen even in the 1080p, which is kind of weird. But The game is being loaded. Let's see. How's she running? Well, it's not too bad. Wow. Okay, I think... Oh, I can't do that in here. I'm going to have to adjust some things, though, because the mouse is really slow, but you can't do that. Here, let's just save that. Sorry it's so loud!
turn the music down at all. Well, let's load it back up here again, see if it's any better. I think I remember that from before he had to crank up that mouse like a whole lot. All right, let's see here. Now, this is all before animals. This game pretty well just concentrated on fields and crops. So, there he is. Boy, that still seems really loud. I don't know if it's coming through the video that loud, but seems to be running. There it is. There's the other old girl. Remember this old thing? Awesome. And this one, we put lots of hours on this one. Oh, I remember that. Vroom, vroom. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we got to get into this again. But anyways, there we go. Some FS13. We'll have a quick look at the fields here. Mouse is a little better there. I think we. Oh yeah, there's the old combine. Look at how tiny this thing is. <laughs> and that was the store. Here's all the tractors we've got available. We'll get into some bigger Dutz Fire stuff. And the big case quad track. Oh man. Oh, this is a much better, much better menu system, I think, than what they got now. You can cycle through and harvesters, dead harvesters, beet harvesters, tippers. That's much nicer, I think. Sort of more categorized. The way they got it now, there's too much junk in there to get mixed up, so. That seems really loud though, but uh, maybe we'll give this a shot next week or you guys let me know if you want to do this or we'll do um, some old family farm. Let me know. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later and you guys have a good day.